Hey everybody, I've got a second lockdown quarantine haul video for you. These are other things that I've gotten uh, since we've been in this little lockdown uh, world that we live in. And like I mentioned uh, in a few other videos, I've picked up quite a bit and here are a bunch of the other things. So let's start right here. This is what I am probably most excited about. Um, this is Rumble Slam by TT Combat. I am super stoked for this game. Um, my kids are really excited. I've already painted two of the teams, the two that come in this starter box, which is such a great value, by the way. When I do an um, unboxing, I'll uh, go through the contents of this. It is just fantastic value. Uh, two teams, a mouse pad ring, yada, yada, yada. So awesome. Can't wait um, to get this on the table. Um, all I'm waiting for, uh, tomorrow I'm going to pick up a varnish um, and get these figures, uh, get them protected. And as soon as they're dry, we are, uh, they're hitting the ring and we are ready to go. So my kids are excited. I'm excited. And, uh, I've got big plans for this game. I think, uh, if, if everyone loves it, it's, uh, I'll be picking up way more teams for sure. So that's Rumble Slam by TT Combat. Um, also by TT Combat, I've got Carnival. So why not just get a, you know, a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of games, uh, by this company. And you know what? Another uh, great value uh, box, I think. Um, so not only does it come with two teams um, and, a, and a gondola, and, you know, um, it comes with all the tokens and, and templates, dice, uh, bases, which I don't need, because I'll show you in a sec, cards for the uh, for the characters. Um, this, I think it was like 16 buildings. Uh, they're, you know, they're only cardboard, but they really get you right on the, you know, able to play uh, on the table right away. Um, T uh, tiles, one foot by one foot tiles that have um, water on one side and uh, bricks and canals on the other side. Awesome, fantastic. Um, a gigantic book. Holy moly, is this like this rule book is thick as heck. Um, also, not here because I was reading it elsewhere. Um, I get started in Carnival book um, and some uh, quick start um, uh, reference sheets. Awesome. Can't can't wait for this game. Um, while not as um, uh, giddy. Uh, as Rumble Slam, this one does excite me. The factions look fantastic. There are a bunch of them. Um, I could see myself getting every single um, model in this in this range and and have no problem um, uh, you know, being very happy with that. There's they just look fantastic. Okay, um, I don't need the bases that came in that because I picked up uh, resin. I think they call them cobblestone, but they're bricks. So if you remember, um, I showed. These uh, this roller, um, which I found after I had ordered these um, these bases, I wouldn't have ordered them. I would have just made my own. But um, they kind of do match. They the sizing is is great. Um, I picked up a an eight foot by two foot foam uh, pink foam, and this is a, a half inch. They didn't have the the one inch ones that I was looking for, but this is perfect. I think I'm gonna make all my uh, basic streets uh, half an inch, and then my uh, raised streets I'll do the one inch when I do find the foam. Um, I already tested a little corner and it looks fantastic. So you'll see some hobbying videos about that yeah, very soon and how I how I work that all out. I just have to figure out the dimensions of the little sections of streets. It's gonna be modular, probably like maybe four inches or five inches. I think this is, has a, a five inch um, roll, but I think four inches would be better, um, or at least akin to the MDF kits that you can get, which look fantastic, but um, because I wanted these bases and you know, I just wanted it to match and I think it'll be fun to make my own and um, it'll be a cool part of the, you know, hobby. I will get the MDF buildings, I think I said before, very excited for that. Um, toothbrush, it's not a part of the hobby hall, but it's how I've been washing all the resin stuff that I've been getting from TT Combat. Um, this is garbage. This is, uh, these are wire clippings from um, some electricians were working at my fi uh, fiance's uh, dance studio. It's being renovated. Um, I've been helping her put in dance floors and clean up and as I find these on the floor and picking them up and bring them home because um, I think I can use these for gas lines. Like it's nice thick wire, can uh, bend it into um, creative shapes. Maybe it can make like uh, roll cages and stuff, uh, I don't know, piping, whatever. Um, yeah, so totally going to try that out with Malifaux. Also some, uh, not Malifaux, why did I say Malifaux? Gas lines. Um, and some zip ties for like armor plating and I got some other ties. Um, uh, that that plastic um, binding that you that are on like um, on pallets and and things uh, that have little design on them. I'm gonna use those for armor. Found that at Home Depot. Kind of stole it from the floor, but it's garbage anyway. It's not stealing. It's, it's garbage anyway. Whatever. Don't judge me. I'm not a jerk. Whatever. Garbage is great. Um, also from TT Combat. 
I got these um these uh this halfling homestead set and it's got four little um houses. I'm gonna use this for burrows and badgers. I'll probably turn one or two into little um houses for those. I was even thinking of making it like um, a hobbit hole with like grass and stuff on top instead of the building. Uh, maybe I'll do both, but I, I think I'm gonna I might even just need the um the front parts, the uh front facade. And uh, I was thinking of you know those cr um, flower craft bricks those like green bricks of like really gross foam that kind of like flakes away i don't know maybe that's not even healthy but maybe i should avoid that but um, i must think of attaching that to um these uh these little facades to that and, and maybe that's that'll work and then putting grass on top i don't know that's just what i've been thinking okay almost done okay the last thing that um i've received that i've been waiting for for a while very excited for um is oops sorry my finger is an order from Blots, Blots UK. Um, I got these 10 millimeter roads. Um, oh, I should have taken out some of the, some of my Gaslands cars. Um, I've shown you the Gaslands cars before. They fit pretty well with these. They're a little big, but I don't think they're exactly 10 millimeter. So I bet if I got um, 10 millimeter exact scale um, cars or like even eight millimeter, um, they would, would be perfect. So like Drop Zone Commander, I think will work great on these. Um, I got a bunch of roads to make like a, a figure eight. Now my kids clearly took them out and they were playing with them the other day and uh, they work they work well. We're gonna have some cool little Gaslands uh, uh, race and battles on these for sure. Um, I also picked up some gates that are uh, currently not together yet, but they look fantastic. Um, they've got like a start, I got a start and finish ones. They look great, I'm so excited. Um, not, it wasn't like a custom order, but I had mentioned um, that uh, this this piece would be great, and um, within hours I got a response that said, "Yep, they're up on the they're all up on the website." I'm like, "Whoa, perfect!" So yeah, this was um, uh, this was my suggestion. This is my claim to fame, um, but it's now available, and this is all 10 mil, um, and it's fantastic. There's also uh, highways, or I think. Um, they're called flyover, so maybe that's a UK thing. Um, they look great, and I, um, I I'm very happy with this quality so far. So as I look uh, more into the set, um, I'm gonna I might order some more for some of stuff. I got some billboards too. Um, they're not put together. They my kids did put them together, but we took them apart. Um, little 10 millimeter billboards. They look so cool. Um, they look great, all designed up. Um, I got these uh, highway signs, which will be great for more. Um, uh, like gates for for gas lines. And I got two one that's a wider one one that's uh, smaller for regular roads um, Those are just the frames that came in. I also picked up This uh, gas station um, It's in 10 mil. Uh, I think it'll look cool in the gas lands uh, the 10 mil gas lands uh, World just have to put it together paint it up nice and make it look all cool um, the uh, blots has a an awesome awesome ferris wheel. I I totally want to get it, and I think I will one day. It's going to be awesome. I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to get it one day. It just looks good. Um, and the last thing I got was um, MDF from Blots again. It's uh, regular size gas line. So I do have the micro ones that I ordered on uh, Etsy. Um, I should have just ordered full size anyway. I should have known I was going to do it. Um, but with uh, my research interest, interest in gas lines and uh, Hot Wheel size, I just picked up an MDF set. And these are so cheap, and they're, they look great. So... Um, I don't know if I'm going to paint them up. I probably won't. I think they're fine the way they are, but uh, maybe we'll give them we'll give them some kind of coat. I don't know if it, the paint will cover the um, the etching here, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's my second hobby haul. Lots on the table. Um, you've you may have already seen my Rumble Slam videos. Um, I'm going to have videos on all this stuff over the next little while because I'm very excited for. Uh, all of these things. I'll do reviews. I'll do unboxings. I'll do uh, painting. I'll just do showcasing of what I've got and what I've been doing. So thanks for watching. Come back for more and um, hope you're enjoying um, your own uh, lockdown quarantine. Hopefully everything is, you know, um, you're keeping safe and healthy and um, keeping sane and keeping busy. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you soon.